Did they give you guys a, a zone look tonight? I think you guys handled that. Uh, I think we did pretty well. You know, moved the ball around, um, found our spots. Uh, we did turn the ball over a little bit too much, but I think we uh, found the right guys at the right time and made some good plays. How much can like the fast break offense kind of help that when you're struggling up against, oh, you know, oh, against the zone? How much can the fast break help? Uh, just getting ahead before they set up. You know, uh, just kicking the ball ahead, uh, getting fast, easy points. You know, uh, before they can just set up really. So anytime we get on transition, uh, helps us out a lot. Get easy buckets as well. Uh, what do you think of Max play tonight? Uh, Mac did pretty good, you know. Uh, it was a bit solid for us down there. He just hit his free throws, of course, too. Uh, he did uh, did a good job, you know. Uh, yeah, what ten points, four rebounds. He did, but he had great minutes for us. Did a lot of great things on defensive end as well, too. After tonight, would you say this team is getting better, staying the same, or going the wrong way? Uh, I think we're still getting better, you know. Still got a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of people still learning a lot of different things for us. Uh, but everybody's taking on the challenge of learning and, and just taking taking everything day to day and being coachable. So I think we're uh, still on the right uh, path of getting back to where we're supposed to be. What are you most looking forward to in relation to the Fort Myers tip off and getting on the road and playing some new court games? Uh, looking forward to getting to another championship. You know, that's one of our goals uh, that we're trying to check off our list. So being able to uh, win a championship, but it starts with the first game against Pitt. Xavier, is there anything you guys can do to, to really kind of come out firing? You know, maybe this one was a little bit better in terms of percentage-wise from the floor, but is there anything you can do offensively to get it really going on Monday? Uh, everybody just step up and make shots, knock down shots, have confident in ourselves, uh, confident in the guy next to us, and I feel like we'd be uh, better just shooting the ball wise. I, you know, I know it's been all, you know, three home games, one road game. What, what do you feel about playing on a neutral floor, just kind of, you know, an environment where no team really has that that home court edge. Uh, I got to step up to the challenge. You know, we already had the one road win uh, for us, so we got the um, got that under our belt and uh, understanding what it takes to do to be outside of Brownage and um, uh, just have a um, winning effort. You know, Bruce, did you feel like <clears throat> this was another one of those slow starts? It was kind of in the same category as what you've seen the other three. Well, you know, I, I just I told them after, and I, I got to be patient with them. I got to help them. I got this was a good experience for us going against the zone, figuring it out, especially for that long period of time. Um, you got to give credit to uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff. They got a couple guys hurt. They they had been playing pretty quick and shooting it quick, and they said we're gonna go four corners and run the clock and ISO and see if we can score. And they made some tough shots. I I, I thought like. There were, I don't know how many times, four or five times where we'd get a deflection. If that ball bounces another way, now we go down and get a layup, you know, boom. Or we get three, four good possessions in a row. Now we come down and try to shoot quick, turn it over, too many turnovers. So, but I, I got to help them. We're, we're new. We're new in so many ways. Or, you know, you new and young. And, you know, I, I was, obviously it's good to see Xavier go five for 10, but he, it, somehow we got to make those free throws. Uh, and, and, he, and he's got to find other ways to score, too. And, and you know, I love that little flash, that jump shot from him. I love what Cardi's doing, you know, the most assist in any K-State player in the first four games. He's trying to do what we need him to do, but we also need him to score. The problem was in the zone offense, in the first half especially, one pass shot, two pass, he never got back to him. So he never really got, but eight assists is, is big time for him. Um, I, I, you know, I thought that Antonio was really good, great energy, um, and, and did a nice job, nine and four. Dejuan did some good things. He's just got to learn to calm down a little bit. And, but he, plus minus Dejuan's 21, and, and uh, you know, Cardi's 19, and, and Antonio's 17. So uh, with those guys in there, we had a pretty good, pretty good run. And um, we just got to get better, and, and, and I hope they understand that. Every game's different. I, I thought we had really good practices the last two days. I thought they, they shot unbelievable yesterday in here. Uh, I think they thought mentally we are going to come in and it was going to be smooth and, you know, going and clicking, but it didn't. And, I, and, I, and that's where I thought we lost our poise a little bit and, uh, at, in the first half. And uh, it's got to get some rhythm. It, it's a, we're a new team and we got to figure it out. It'll, and you, you, learn, you get better in practice and you learn from games. How long do you expect to be without Montavious? I, I think it's day to day. More than anything, he tweaked his knee in the game last week. Um, he complained about it. Um, they did a they did an MRI. Nothing major, but enough to we got to sit and wait until they feel like um, 
he's totally healthy. So it's it, it will you know be a week at the end of this uh, week, and you know obviously we're hoping for Florida, but we'll just have to wait and see. We're not going to push it, and uh, you know we, we'll let some things come. I think this team is ready for the tournament setting. Yeah, I think so. I think they they're I'm, I know they're looking forward to it and. Uh, and we've had a road game. Now you got a neutral game. You got an ACC team uh, that is kind of, in a way, they're new, but they have everyone back. So they were really new last year. Uh, they they played pretty tough schedule already. Florida State and West Virginia. Uh, so it's uh, you know we're gonna have to come to play. It's uh, I I haven't watched them you know just a little bit. We we talked a little bit and watched a little highlights the other day. But um, we'll get after it you know and uh, tomorrow. Is a is a non-contact day for us, and uh, get get shots up and learn and watch and grow, and then off on on uh, on Thursday, and then uh, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday practice. Get ready for Pittsburgh. Uh, if anything, what do you guys what do you think you missed without having Montavious in the starting lineup tonight? Uh, you know, I gave Levi a shot, and and we actually did they did what we said. Go inside. And we went inside to Levi, and, and, and he didn't finish. And then we went to Mac, and he didn't finish. And, you know, so we really emphasized that they, in that way the guys were coachable. But they got to, you know, we got to finish uh, around the paint. Um, I think Montavious just gives us that good, solid defense. And, and he, he, he's really learned the system pretty quickly. But I, I was happy with Antonio. That, that if we get that from him uh, – and he's aggressive. He's got obviously got to get better defensively, but uh, you know it, it's uh, and that'll come with time. Uh, Mike had uh, zero points and uh, missed three missed shots. What do you think about his night? Uh, do you think he needs to take you know, more I, shots? He's or? he's got obviously we need something from him, and uh, I think he's so into and worried about his shot. He's got to do some other things. You know, days one. Uh, you know, didn't really make make the shots, but he did all those other things: five rebounds, three offensive rebounds. You know, he, he was he was leader on the play hard chart for us, and that's the kind of things Mike got to take some pride in. Mike guards the heck out of people, but he's got to he can't. I told him he can't watch the game. He's got to play the game. He's got to be a feisty little you know varmint, and and if he does that, that's that's going to help him and help us. Xavier in the back. Uh, did your jump shot feel smoother, better tonight, or was it just one of those nights where it was going in the night, just maybe not in for the first couple games? I uh, went back, getting my routine, you know, getting form shots. The coach always been talking about uh, helping me out through this week. I uh, just got some good shots up this week got, and found my rhythm. Coach, that gave you guys a uh, zone look tonight. How do you feel like you guys handled that? Well, that's what I said. I first thing I said. I think it's great, great experience for us. Uh, it wasn't real smooth, um, you know. It, it, it. We, uh, and that's a, it's actually a zone that we kind of run. So we, you hope we have an idea of how to attack it. But we didn't probably get enough flashing in the middle. I thought we took some. I don't know if it quick shots. Um, they weren't bad shots, but they were quick, and we didn't make the defense work enough. Um, you know, and that's all part of learning. Now you watch film tomorrow, you have a better idea. Um, you know, if, if we don't shoot it well, people are going to sit back on us. We, we, you know, and that's, you know, I, I still think we'll be a good shooting team. And it's just, it's just a matter of time. Uh, you know, eight for 23, probably two or three of those probably don't even take. And maybe your percentage is a little better. Uh, Cardi, uh, cool hoodie, by the way. Um, how frustrating have these slow starts been in, in the first half, just just as a team? Um, <clears throat> um, I really don't um, get into that. I like, and I mean, uh, I understand that we, uh, from history, and you know how with with the experience that we got on this team, that uh, these slow starts is is going to pass. Um, we got to make shots. I think we we play in defense pretty well. I mean, today wasn't as good of defense in the first half as we usually do, but um, second half we've been playing really uh, a lot better and uh, extending the lead and, and just showing, you know, uh, resilience and ultimately coming to a win. If we win the game, that's all that matters to me. Uh, I don't care how much we beat a team by, how, we much, how much people expect us to beat a team by. It doesn't matter. Win is a win on the, on the, on the column, so that's all that matters.
and, and Bruce, I guess for you, is that kind of what you try to emphasize? That well, I mean, the slow starts are what they are. I mean, we've continued to come out in the second half and do well, what we need no, to do. To I want to get better. I want to play both halves. I mean, that if I'm not because if we do that as the competition gets better, we're going to have ourselves in such a hole we can't come back. And um, you know, we we got to we got to watch and figure it out. And uh, again, I said I thought mentally, Coach Lowry said at halftime. I think they all came in thought the game was going to go this way, and it didn't. And and then all of a sudden, we just kind of – we we got to be a little more poised and a little more patient, play with a better pace. And, and we got – you know, again, a couple balls bounce our way, go our way, maybe some plays, you know, the game goes different. But it didn't, and it made us grind out. We've, been, we've had to grind out some things, and – you know, if you remember back, Prairie View A&M, I, it, probably Dean and those guys, maybe their freshman year, it was a two-point game. And same type of setup. They sat in the zone and they held the ball. And so it's uh, it's not fun for a coach. It, it, and, but at the same time, you, you learn and grow from it and use the, every experience you have to get better. Did it surprise you guys how good their forward number two Carter was? I mean, I think he missed the last two games. He only scored two, two points prior to this game. So was it just – just didn't have a lot of film well, on them? We told them, expect the unexpected, and we didn't know who was going to start, and their two best players, two of their best players are hurt. Um, Carter, we, you know, from that first game, he looked, on film, he looked like a pretty good player. He didn't make shots, but he shot him, and obviously he uh, he played at a pretty pretty good level tonight, 20-9, and nine. and anybody's, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good game for anybody. Cardi, most assists for K-State player was it in the first four game first four games how does that feel and how you been seeing the floor um <clears throat> just uh trying to get the eyes off me um you know make my make my teammates better uh, i'm trying to get 10 so just uh, try to keep passing the ball and, and getting assists and my teammates make shots for me and i feel like that's going to open it up for me to move it forward and you know of course take the eyes off me so i can attack more and stuff like that so they're looking for me to pass so that's the biggest thing and i want to you know just get everybody involved. That's the biggest thing for me. Point guard. That's my. That's my. Uh, my job is to facilitate. Uh, it was great seeing him, especially for me. You know, playing him since high school. Great to see him back on the court. Be on the court with him again. Uh, got to got to do some work as well to get back in rhythm uh, of the team as well. So. <clears throat> Definitely dope. Another uh, PG. So I mean, when he comes in, if he's in with me, I be off the ball. Uh, also, you know, he he can, he can create in, for play for people. You've seen uh, in the past. Last year, he's he's had uh, good games. I remember one game he had ten and six assists in probably like nine minutes. So I mean, he's really capable of doing a really good thing. So we're just looking forward to that and him getting in the uh, rotation.